Hello, people of the internet. John Perry here. I haven't published in a while. I apologize for that. My my life's been a little bit disorganized as I've been working on projects for Stated Clearly. You can tell my my office is a mess. But uh, I just wanted to share briefly with you an article that I found. I don't know how I came across this. AtlasObscura.com. Just this hilarious article, hilarious and horrible, about... Uh, well, let me just read you the title. These butterflies full of wasps, full of micro-wasps, are a science nightmare. They were accidentally released on a Finnish island 30 years ago, and the parasites are spreading. So what happened is some scientists were trying to study how butterflies disperse in a new area. And in Finland, there's a, just a bunch of islands kind of south of Finland, Actually, let me, let me pull up a map here for you. Might as well. All right, so just, just to give you a little perspective here, here's, here's Finland, you know, Sweden. And then there's all of these islands over here, which are really cool. Like, it'd be fun to visit them. So this is the island where they released the butterflies 30 years ago. And it's just a couple miles long. It's like, I don't know, four miles long or so. And, uh... Let me see if I can look at it in satellite view. People actually live on this island. It looks like it'd be a really cool place to live, actually. Like, look at that. You just want to escape the world and, you know, live on a little farm surrounded by beaches. Of course, it's frozen most of the year, but it looks like a pretty awesome spot. Anyway, they release these butterflies there. Let me, let me just read from this article. When the caterpillars of a beautiful butterfly were introduced to the tiny island, scientists hoped to study how the emerging butterflies would disperse across the landscape, but researchers did not realize that their introduction of the Glanville fritillary butterfly would lead to the emergence of three other species which sprang out of the butterfly like Russian dolls. So what happened is they released these butterflies, these caterpillars, started out as caterpillars, and some of them had been infected by a parasitic wasp. There's lots of wasps that will lay their eggs inside of caterpillars. And then the, as the caterpillar is growing up, so this is what the caterpillar is supposed to look like when it's like healthy. And this is one that has had wasp larva burst out of its body because those eggs were laid inside of its body by a parasitic wasp. This here is a picture of the parasitic wasp that was kindly taken for us on uh, Flickr. So... That's pretty cool. Beautiful little animal, horrible reproductive strategy. Well, it turns out that there's another type of parasitic wasp that parasitizes the eggs of the main parasitic wasp. So we have a parasitic wasp inside of a parasitic wasp that was released onto this island. And you also have a new bacteria that was released onto this island. So there's three different species were hiding inside of this butterfly and have now spread all throughout the islands there uh, and are infecting all sorts of uh, butterflies and so on. So it was just... <laughs> First off, I think what surprised me about the story is I didn't know that there were parasitic wasps that infected parasitic wasps. That seems ridiculous. I mean, I guess what's happening, and I don't know for sure, but I guess what's happening is that the, the little wasp is finding a caterpillar that was just infected by a parasitic wasp and then is injecting its eggs into that wasp's eggs. That must be what's happening. Or maybe, in, probably this is more likely, maybe it's not actually injecting its eggs into the other wasp's eggs that are inside of the caterpillar. It seems like that'd be hard to, to aim for. Maybe it just exploits the sort of digestive enzymes and stuff that those other larvae end up producing. That's probably what's happening. I think they probably just exploit what the other wasp eggs, the other wasp larvae are doing in there. They somehow take advantage of that. That's probably what's happening. And in the process, they end up killing the, the larva of the, of the larger parasitic wasp. I should have Nancy on to talk about this. She's an entomologist. She would know the details. All I'm doing here is just guessing. The article didn't really say, and I don't feel like looking it up, <laughs> but this is crazy. You've got a parasite inside of a parasite, <laughs> and I just, I find that, I find that amusing, interesting, horrible, and I think this is just a really great example of, 
you know, why you need to be careful when you're doing scientific research. Because, you know, they've, they've just released this wasp into an environment where it didn't used to exist. These, these, these two species of parasitic wasps. So, congratulations, science. <laughs> uh, anyway, in other news, Nancy and I are planning another trip to Ecuador, another tour and tickets are going to go on sale pretty soon. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel or the Stated Clearly channel and that you got the little bell icon on to get details about this. We're going to announce all the details here soon, but basically everyone is sick of COVID. They're sick of not being able to get out and travel, and Ecuador is now letting people come in the country if you've been vaccinated. You, there's There are some little precautions that they require you to take. So we are going to start another tour. It's going to be in the summer of 2022. The sign up is going to be probably the end of this month and maybe through November, but we only have 10 spots. So make sure that you are subscribed, either my channel or Nancy's channel. Her, her channel is Cybugs, so that you can get uh, details on that as soon as it's ready, because I, I imagine a lot of people are sick and tired of being stuck at home. And yeah, I'm so excited this time. So we're going to Ecuador like we did last time, but this time we're going to go to the Amazon instead of the coast. So the, the footage I'm showing you right here is from the coast of Ecuador. This year we'll be going to the Amazon jungle. And I'm excited about that because Nancy really likes the coast. You know, she's the tour guide. She lives there. She really likes the coast and the she's an entomologist, the, the insects that are there, and she knows them really, really well. But there's not very many mammals like monkeys and cool stuff. There's not very many reptiles on the coast. So this year we're going to do the Amazon and she's teaming up with some local tour guides because she's not as knowledgeable uh, of, of all the organisms on that side of the of the mountain there but oh my gosh i'm so excited we're gonna we might even get to eat piranhas you might get to fish and then eat your own piranha which you know i think that's cool i'm super excited there are river dolphins i've never seen a river dolphin before i'm really excited about that there are uh, river giant river otters these really amazing animals that, that live in ecuador oh my gosh it's gonna be awesome so Keep a lookout. I'll also ha announce on the Stated Clearly website. So if you check there periodically, there will be like a big link at the top of the website once we have details of the trip available. So yes, stay tuned, my friends. And hopefully I'll see you in Ecuador in the summer of 2022.